Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of watching these scary story animations. I got a couple that we're gonna check out on this episode. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! First video of today's episode comes from my favorite scary animation channel. It is from Llama Arch. Check them out. Link will be in the description box below. It is called The Woman. Here we go. It was a late, moonless, snowy night. I heard the chilling cry of a bobcat as I arrived home from my parents' house. What does the chilling cry of a bobcat sound like? Uh... Where we had just had Thanksgiving dinner in northern Michigan. Exhausted, I had finally made it to my bed when my pregnant girlfriend asked for nacho cheese munchies. Reluctantly, I laced up my boots and went to my car. Due to the cold, it took me a while to start the car, which only made me more irritated. But eventually I got it started, and I arrived at the convenience store to retrieve my girlfriend's mandated snacks. As I left the store, walking back towards my car, I saw a shadow of movement out of the corner of my eye. What looked like a person stood near the dumpster, just out of the light. I didn't move like a person, oh I stepped crap. towards the figure, and she looked at me with a giant sinister smile. <gasps> Ooh! Her face was so weathered, it looked like she had cracks all over her face. She was crouched down and appeared to be chewing on something. I looked to see what she was chewing on. It was the bobcat from earlier. To my surprise, it was a severed arm. Oh, nice. It looked Bet old, that tastes good. as if it had been rotting for it's married weeks. married too, got a ring finger and everything. I saw her glance at something in her pocket. I could see the outline of what looked like a pocket knife. As soon as I looked back up, she quickly charged me. I pushed her away and then ran back to the convenience store. I burst through the door and frantically yelled towards the cashier to call the police as I turned to lock it. He asked me, What's going on? I scowled at him and said, Please, just call the cops. I looked back outside and saw the woman had moved across the street and was still scrutinizing me as she maintained her malevolent grin. Look, there's a girl out there who's trying to kill That's me. That's disturbing and fascinating Looking at the same me, time. I don't know why. I don't see Maybe anyone out there, she's walking around sir. in high heels doing all Those this weird stuff. Those words shook me, even to this day. When the police reached the gas station, they began looking around for the woman while one of the officers asked me what had happened, and I told him the details of the encounter. One of the officers came back and said he couldn't find anything. I then took them back to where I first noticed her. Yeah, because there was blood on the floor near the dumpster. We spent a few minutes intently searching, but there was no proof she was ever even there. The officer cocked his head and looked at me as if I was deranged and asked me in a judgmental tone, Are you feeling okay? I was about to defend myself and then I started to think. I am tired and I have had a couple of drinks, so I just told him, Yes sir, sorry for bothering you. I hope you have a nice night. And Same. then I drove home. I got home at around 4 o'clock in the morning. My girlfriend greeted me with an angered but concerning tone of voice. Where were you? Are you okay? Where were you? What's her name? So I told her everything that happened. Of course, she didn't believe me. I couldn't get to sleep that night. I sat in my bed questioning my sanity, wondering if it was all even real. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm just tired. Okay, I gotta ask you guys something before I continue. When you go to sleep, do you have to have the TV on, a fan on, anything on, or do you like it completely silent, pitch black, nothing distracting you from trying to go to sleep? I personally love the fan on. I love having the TV on. I like having some kind of white noise in the background to get me to fall asleep. When it's completely silent and it's completely dark, for some reason, I can't get to sleep. So I wanna know what you guys do in the comments down below. But no, that can't be it. I. I saw it, but if I saw it, why was there no proof? Bro, you seen to. Where did the arm go? We all seen Where to did too. she go? Before I knew it, it was seven in the morning, and I had to go to work. I threw on my jacket as I was about to head to the construction site, put my hand in my pocket, and noticed that there was a hole in it. Holy it wasn't moly! There the other day. I Holy thought, hell! What if she caught my jacket. Okay, let me as I stop ran, with the bad hole punch. Which further proves my suspicion that she was real. Hmm. I there's a hole in that theory. It. I'm just kidding. My let mind stop. completely went wild until my girlfriend kissed me goodbye. I told my friends at work what had happened, and they didn't believe me either. They made jokes about it the entire day, 
But I had my bowling tournament that day, so that gave me something to look forward to. Bowling tournament? This dude is cool. I got cool. home and hung my vest and jacket as cool as him. and rapidly put on my bowling shoes and got my bowling ball. My girlfriend looked at me with a pleasant smile and said, When will you be back? Never! <laughs> Don't be long. Oh, hey, you thought that was funny? I got I more of those Don't where worry. that came from. Big At bowl. around 10.30, I got some the big tournament bowls. had finally finished, and we had won. I was so thrilled Striker I boys. had forgotten about the woman. They're virgins. As we were leaving, I noticed something at the other end of the parking lot. Go! Oh. It was that psychotic woman. We stared at each other for what felt like an eternity. She slowly started moving towards me while waving her knife Take in the air picture. and making cuts. It's 2020, I just pull your camera out. I my car and turned it on. As I looked up, I saw she was standing in front of me, staring at me. She slowly walked over to my window, and she said in a quiet, deep, and scratchy voice, Munchies. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Shut up! I was frozen in fear, but I snapped shit. back to reality when she rhymes. banged on the roof of my car, screaming. I quickly slammed my foot on the accelerator and didn't let off it until I couldn't see her anymore. When I arrived home, I told my girlfriend what had happened. Like last time, she didn't believe me. I really thought I was insane, but I tried to forget about it and get some sleep. Later that night, I woke up Whoa. and saw her in my room. All she said was let me in, over and over. As she got closer, she's already in though. She then started shouting. Unless she wants in a different place. Let me in! Come on, Paul. Stop being difficult. Let me in! Oh, I was crap. wondering how in the world my girlfriend hadn't heard this going on. Dude. The woman. When she had that regular voice, I was like, okay. He's definitely having some weird thoughts, maybe from the pregnancy. Maybe he's just seeing another side of his girlfriend, and then that's why she sounds like, let me in, let me in. But then she had that demonic voice, and ooh, it just got real. The woman was right next to me and held up a knife to me. That's when I fainted. I woke startled in my room, dripping with sweat. Then I remembered I don't have a girlfriend. What? Nor a house. Bruh. Or a family. Paul! Do you even know how to bowl, Paul? Come on, Paul. Time for your morning meds. Let me wow. in. Wow! Wow! Okay, there was a lot of directions I thought that animation could go, but that one just went... <laughs> All I can say to that animation is, what a twist! Next video of today's episode is called Just Beyond the Golden Arches, and you guys know that face. That's the most famous clown face that you know besides You look cute mine. when you eat those fries. Now go ahead. Get a taste of that Big Mac. Why don't you get a it's taste of really my big good. balls? Oh, this is from a first person view? Come on in. The water's just fine. Oh, come on, I won't bite. At least not that hard. Oh, kinky, are we? Hmm. You still haven't tried your Big Mac. Is something wrong? I don't know what kind of secret sauce you put I in there. I hate to see you go home hungry. Good lord. Our bathrooms are very clean. Hmm. You look like you have to take a tinkle. <laughs> oh, take a couple trips. <laughs> <laughs> they got a 93 Toyota Paseo <laughs> in the parking lot. Oh, hold on. Oh, that caught me off guard. Oh, that caught me so off guard that I choked on my own spit. That's what she said. Okay, let's continue. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? What do you want to do? Am I going to be in the trunk of your car? I used to like Logic. You know, the rapper. Yeah, but the needle dropper views him so poorly, I, I just don't really care for his music now. <laughs> This is so ridiculous. Well, this is my pad. It ain't much, but 
I certainly call it home. Bro, you make McDonald's money. You expect me to believe this is your home? I think this is like a secret place where you take me here and then you kill me and I'm never seen again. Guys, McDonald's net worth is $163 billion. You gotta be Mick kidding me right now. Before you guys unsubscribe from that whack-ass joke, remember, I am a father now. I have a child. I am allowed to make corny dad jokes once per video. Come on. I get one dad joke per video You look video pretty thirsty. Now. That's the here, rules. have some water. Look at that ass. There you go, sweetie. Thank you. Don't call me sweetie, though. Oh. What kind of water you have? That shit was straight from the sink. I'm already tripping out. I'm already in Ronald McDonald's basement. Whoa! I just don't know why you didn't try the Big Mac. Was it me? Don't you want to know how succulent it can taste? Dude. How beautiful life can really be? Sure. I mean... Don't be afraid. When you come to your senses, I'll bring you back up. Be easy with him now. We really need him to try this big man. Whoa! That wasn't scary. That wasn't scary. That that wasn't even. Come on, stop that. Quit it. It's such a pretty okay. day today. Well, that's nice. <laughs> that's you know, nice. It was up to me. We wouldn't even be does, having does this. Does that procedure, taste good? You having fun there, bud? That's just the way society is, you know. Don't know why I'm watching this. It's so unfair. But that's what we're doing. It's so unfair that they have to do this to you. You obviously love them. I mean, I love mine. I wish you could do that to, to mine. Taken away from me. Sometimes mine need love. They need to be licked just like that. But I guess you just can't. You just can't change people. Anyway. All right, son. Let's go get your balls cut off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> last video of today's episode comes from Juan C entertainment it is called our new house was cursed the scary thing about buying a home is that it could look beautiful it could have everything that you want but until you live in it you don't know if it's gonna be unsettling to you or even safe from spirits or it just has like a weird vibe to it until you're in it for like multiple nights sometimes even multiple months so that's the scary thing about buying a new home it could look all pretty but when you start getting into it and you start living in it, then you start to see the real things happening. So let's check it out. My name is Gabby, and this story is my true experience. When I was 11 years old, my family and I moved to a big house in a tiny town. Our new house was located at the highest point, which was at the end of the town. When we bought the house, the owner explained to us that his wife had just passed away due to cancer. Bruh, hell no. I don't care what she passed away from. If the guy said blah, 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 just passed away, boom, I'm ripping that contract up, you know, sprinkling it all over him like some nut dust, and I'm getting the heck out of there. I'm not letting this dick nose looking grandma haunt me in my sleep. Forget all that. And that the house was very precious to her. And very so haunted to her. she never wanted to sell it. She's Still, like, when I die, I'm haunting the next the person that you sell this to. I promise you. For him. That's on God, Since baby girl. All their kids were grown up and already moved to other cities. Oh, poor guy. However, during the final part of the deal, he suddenly changed his mind and didn't want to sell the house. But it was too late. The owner stormed out of the office saying that it was his house and that we were going to regret it. Yikes. Anyway, this was during the time Yikes. my dad was sent overseas because he was in the military. Okay. So my mom, my older brother, and I had to live by ourselves for six months. During that time, we had really weird experiences. Ooh. Stop that. Sometimes Stop it right now. we would wake up to the sound of a goat in our backyard. It would last the whole night. That's me. I'm the goat. The next morning, we talked to the neighbors and asked if one of them had goats, but none of them did. If I was a neighbor, I would have so been like, bitch, first, I'm the goat. We just decided bah. to ignore the issue and leave it alone. Now, just for your information, our house design was kind of odd. 
Downstairs, we had my room, my brother's room, my soon-to-be-born sister's room, and a weird wide walkway that led to the backyard. And upstairs, we had a kitchen, living room, and my parents' room. The downstairs was underground, and the upstairs was technically the first floor. Oh, that is a weird shape house. Anyway, one night. So it's like when you walk in, you're at a regular level, but to get to the next floor, it's actually down below. And the attic where those creepy stairs are, are where the first floor would be? So that doesn't make sense. That's a weird ass house design for sure. I decided to sleep with my mom, so I went upstairs with my brother. Pussies. Later that night, we heard a sharp scream coming from downstairs. It sounded like it was my dad's voice screaming for help. Dude. He was calling all of our names. My mom rushed out of the room and was ready to run downstairs. Bro, pregnant too? All of a sudden, Sprinting she stopped like this? at the top of the staircase and looked at us with a weird expression on her face. But your dad is still in Colombia. How could he... And the next thing I saw was my mom abruptly falling down the stairs. No! That moment was so horrible. It was like someone pushed her backwards before she was able to resist. Oh, my brother so called the police and I ran down the stairs to check my mom Hopefully and see if she was okay. Baby. We struggled to bring her up the that stairs, sucks. but we managed to make it to her room what about the baby? when the police and ambulance arrived. They took my mom to a hospital and left two officers with us that night. I was crying the entire night, and we were so afraid. Due to falling down the stairs, mom was injured, and unfortunately, we lost our new family member. Damn. The most That's chilling tough. part was that they found a large handprints on my mom's back, as if she was pushed by someone. This led to an investigation, but yeah, they because had obviously to they the wouldn't believe that a spirit pushed no her. no one was found in our house, other than the three of us. We all suffered and went through a hard time that year, especially my mom. She slid into depression. When she recovered, we moved the following year. This animation is actually really However, sad. However, more things happened throughout the year, but not as bad as the previous one. Just footsteps, broken plates, or similar stuff to that. We put that house on the market when we left, but no one has contacted us. One thing is for certain. I hope that we never have to go back to that creepy house again. I really, really don't want to go back. Yeah, you would never catch me at a haunted house. Like, once I see one haunting happen, like, somebody wipes my ass and it wasn't even me, I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. All right, guys, but that's going to do it for this episode of Reacting to these Scary Story Animations. Check out Llama Arts, Meat Canyon, and Wansi Entertainment. All their channels will be in the description box below. If you guys want me to react to any more animations across the internet, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cubs, guys, is that dude!